smart ways to study using, quite honestly, your natural instincts of whatever way we can find examples, especially in nature. So here we go. This is about calendar, Google Keep and Google Tasks in the sidebar. For an example, Gmail, Docs, Slides, Sheets and Drawings. It's really an awareness video and it goes something like this. If you, like me, with my little notepad here, where you had a human being, that could be me or you, needed to produce something, maybe make something, we need to think about something, and these notes come from everywhere, usually in forms of pictures, words, um, film maybe, the odd video clip, and they're all scattered all over the place. And if you think, going back to the first slide, that when you are studying, and you may be a child, a university student, an adult, in other words, a human being. You could be all over the place. You could be in a formal university setting or a public library setting like this. You could be sitting around um, contemplating your future um, underneath a bridge. You get the idea. You could be anybody in any place. Or you could be doing, which I particularly like, the old school version of sitting around with your head in your hands with a paper book. What I'm trying to get to the educator teacher in front of me, in other words me, is really saying, like I do, get out into nature, try and see the natural way that animals go about their business. I'm very, very lucky because close to me now, there seem to be some red kite that I'm literally looking at through the binoculars and getting up close. When they've got a wingspan of about two metres wide, you see them going about their business in a very, very focused way, but nobody really told them how to get on with it because we're human beings. So look, going back down to the beginning here, what is this all about? If you start off with calendar, keep and tasks in the sidebar, you will probably, if you're like me, have an Android. So on my Android on the left screen here, we've got um, keep and tasks and calendar sitting on our desktop. If we go to the middle slide, I've started to use Google Keep here with the UK Birds of Prey, for an example. We'll come to these in a moment in the sidebar example. And I've listed a few um, Birds of Prey. And then on the right-hand side actually is the running order, kind of, in Google Tasks to make this particular video. In other words, collect some things together. So, as I said, I said this was an awareness video and a little while ago, not that long ago, August the 22nd, look, the G Suite updates were talking about the quick access side panels to do more in Docs, Sheets, Slides, Calendar and more, meaning Google Drawings. I will link you to this. Bottom line, if you look also in the Google Docs help forum, you'll get something like this, which was posted on August the 22nd. Fourth, very, very similar, if not identical. There's a help page here which looks at Google products side by side to talk you through how and use these things, how to use and use these things. But what better way than actually to come in my uh, one of my other accounts here and say, look, getting started in practice, we have Gmail. On the right hand side of Gmail, we've got some pop outs. This is new Gmail. Google Calendar, keep. So if I hit, say, for an example, Google Calendar, Calendar will load. As I say, this is one of my other accounts, so there's very little on it. But you will see on the right-hand side, Google Keep will open up, and it will have things like what I just showed you. In other words, I can, if I wanted to write an email about this, I can bring those notes directly in. Similarly, if I wanted to see the running order of how to make a list, in other words, of getting this video out the door, um, then I could in this example. But really, what we could do is we can come in and we can say, right, tasks is in here on the right hand side. But helpfully, I've covered in a previous video that using mail.google forward slash tasks canvas, we can actually edit and keep track as a standalone URL of Google Tasks. Then, of course, we've got keep in the normal way and we've also got across the board. So if you come into, say, Google Slides and I'm just going to press escape on my keyboard and what you'll see on the right hand side here, once again, are the three little things. I won't open them, calendar, keep 
and tasks. So if I wanted to start building this slide as I was, then I can look at what I've got to um, use on the right hand side and populate the slides or the document that I am talking about. Then, of course, similarly to Google Slides, we've got Google Drawings, and this is just an example, notes from everywhere with a photo that I took a couple of days ago. Similarly with Keep, which can pop out. The question here is, can you be smart and be really smart and use this to your own advantage and save you a ton of time and research working quite well? Because one of the reasons I did this, and it's no secret, is it really? But if we bring this is as a separate URL on our desktop, then we can bring this out and we can say, well, look, quite honestly, if I wanted to go back to my slides, bear with me, there's slides, then I can, of course, bring in and I can arrange this. Now, that's not difficult because that's why it's called Windows or having multi um, Chrome tabs or software on your desktop. Can you see like that? Now, we could do, oh, excuse me, we could do that. But you probably agree that if you opened up, say, Keep itself inside Google Slides and you opened it up like that, you might get more done and get rid of, say, one whole URL. I think we're done because this was a uh, awareness video. And the only one that I have not used, of course, and that is Google Docs. And I need to really... Um, show you because I want to be thorough for when I come back on this and tell other people to say look I've made a video on this go and have a look and you also notice that if you're still listening which you probably I've lost a lot of the audience here because we're actually 650 in but I'm going to forget about that I'm going to say hey if I want to do this thoroughly and correctly as a teacher or an educator on learning YouTube then I need to get the job done properly and not try and play to an audience that is going to be running around like I have got to entertain them. So if I wanted to do the normal sort of thing and say, hello, Red Kite, uh, and then I've obviously forgotten what I'm going to, to, to actually write, um, I can once again get my uh, keep notes on the right hand side. So that was the demonstration to say that I wanted to start talking about Kestrel Buzzard, Red Kite, Sparrowhawk and a Tawny Owl on the right hand side. I've got a sneaky feeling that if I highlight those, Will this come in? Oh, I thought I could drag them. Perhaps I can't. Maybe it's a copy and paste. Doesn't really matter, does it? So look, I started off talking about calendar keep tasks in the sidebar. I then started talking about um, paper written notes in a real world, which was notes from everywhere. I talked about um, the real world, especially um, formal students using these, you know, machines from Google and the software from Google to work in a, a bunch of different settings to think. This is quite an interesting one because this girl here, lady, oh, haha, <laughs> nice one. Uh, order, bring to the front. Uh, bring to front, yeah, there you go. So she's sitting there, look, and they're all doing it, aren't they? They're all at it, sitting there with their headsets on. God, that could be me. Um, anyway, so they are hopefully working as smart as you or I. Should we finish it there? If you can, please research the red kite because it is a phenomenal, phenomenal bird. OK, thanks very much and goodbye.